Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining me today. I'm Jenna Stauffer. Now, never underestimate the power of imagination. It helped get us to the moon and back. It's built computers, movies, music, and so much more. It's powerful, powerful stuff. I'm going to start the show off today by talking about a local business that just started out as a simple hole in the community that needed to be filled. It has now grown into the oldest toy store in the Keys. Anything in the world of toys that you can imagine can be found at Imagination Station. Now from toys to educating kids to supporting the community, they represent what it means to be a part of Key West. Donna, thank you for being on the show with me this morning. And for thank you for having me. Bringing these great toys, Donna. They're my friends. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Donna, like I just mentioned, you guys started out so small, but you've really grown over the years, haven't you? Yeah, we started as a um, small business in a 800-square-foot store next to the barbershop in Searstown. Mm -hmm. And uh, I had uh, $8,000. Uh, which I borrowed from my dad, okay. and mm -hmm. a credit card that had a very small limit on it, and uh, managed to pull together bringing in merchandise in November right before Christmas. And I was actually told by some people that I would never get it done, I would never pull it off. Mm -hmm. And we did, and it was a wonderful experience. I had people that came in and thanked us for opening the store, uh, mm -hmm. because there was no toy store in Key West. And uh, it was a lot of fun, but it was also very crowded, so we luckily moved and uh, expanded two and a half years later mm -hmm. to our present location, which we have been there for oh, 17 and a half years. Okay, wonderful. So you guys have been there ever since you started on a dream and you have really just built it. Yes, I have a background in education. Mm -hmm. I raised three children in the store. Wow. And um, so, yeah, we know a little bit about toys there and development of, of children. Um, in fact, right now we're uh, branching out a little bit and we're uh, going to be offering a baby signing class mm -hmm. uh, to young mothers and their babies because it's hard for children to communicate and uh, because they're not verbal at right. the early stages. So sign language really, really helps uh, the infants communicate when they're tired, when they're hungry, and it cuts down on some of the uh, frustration for the baby and the parent and uh, works really well. Wow. So, so we're going to be starting that uh, next Wednesday probably. Next Wednesday. So mm -hmm. along with all these toys that you have, you're doing signing classes. And now, Donna, how has your business, how have you stayed in business, I should say, for the past 20 years with internet shopping really taking off? Uh, well, internet has definitely uh, put a little damage on our business, but we try to keep reinventing ourselves and seeing what the community needs. Um, we recently lost our major bookstore chain, mm -hmm. and so now there's hardly any place to get children's books. So we have taken part of the store now and are turning it into a book section. We'll be growing that uh, as, as time goes on. Um, I brought one of the classics here, which okay. a lot of people know is Goodnight Moon. Mm -hmm. And we even have the little rabbit that goes along with the story. Aww. If you know about the story of the um, little rabbit trying to go to bed in his great green room mm -hmm. and the red balloon. So it's, it's a lot of fun. We also have some other books that cater to older children. Uh, this is one of my favorites. It's called Bubble Homes and Fish Farts. <laughs> and uh, it teaches the children what bubbles are used for by different mammals. Um, fish, invertebrates, and even humans. I don't know if you know that the shrew actually uses bubbles in its feet in the web. It doesn't have webbed feet to, mm -hmm. to swim, but it has hair-like follicles, and the bubbles go into the hair-like follicles, which propels him to swim and can cause him to, or help him run on top of the water for short periods of time. Really? Yeah. You we actually tell me something I didn't yeah. know. Oh, there's, <laughs> there's lots of information here. We actually use bubbles uh, when the, we were building bridges Mm -hmm. and when they're putting the pilings in mm -hmm. so that um, the sound doesn't hurt the fish and mm -hmm. the mammals and actually kill them because of the, the loud, loud sound, the bubbles are an insulator. Mm -hmm. And that's all in this all book, all in this book which this is book a lot of fun. Kids. And now so, what is this right here, Donna? I uh, like this. this. That's a game called Find It, and it's mm -hmm. been around for a couple of years now. It's a self-contained game where you have to find the... Um, items that are in the container and they're listed on the top but the elusive one is a penny mm -hmm. there's a penny in there mm -hmm. and I've had customers spend over an hour trying to find the penny, the penny. Mm -hmm. and there's different ones oh I lost mine here there's a beach one this one is glitz and glamour it actually um, some of the proceeds go to breast cancer mm -hmm. and there's 
uh, beach one and this one's for children it has the ABC blocks in it balloons and everything so if you turn it if you mm -hmm. keep turning it oh no you gotta turn it this way no, I don't even yeah know and it, <laughs> yeah it's one of those one of those classic glow tech toys but if you turn it this way you can see you can find the items mm -hmm. there's the S block and there's the little pom-pom and the idea is to find the penny mm -hmm. and you can use this as a toy just for an individual child and mm -hmm. they can spend hours looking for the different things mm -hmm. especially if you're traveling right. or you can put it on a timer and use it with other people in the family and each child gets five minutes this way you know nobody gets too bored waiting right. for the other child and they can find out how many pieces they can find in five minutes and then you transfer it to another and another and adults can play with this as like like I said some of them are even geared towards adults um, it's a nice coffee table mm -hmm. thing if you have people over icebreaker mm -hmm. so it's again it's uh, it's a low-tech toy, but it's mm -hmm. got a lot of um, time to it, time to play value is what mm -hmm. we call it, actually, just like imaginative toys such as Playmobil, where the kids have uh, pirates and, and uh, knights and a uh, veterinary thing. There's a lot of play value to that because they're using their imagination. It's not done for them. It's not done for them electronically. And I, I don't have anything against electronics, mm -hmm. but there are things that sometimes should be hands-on. Right, wonderful. And now we're running out of time, but real quick, I know you have back to school backpacks. We do. Right? We have one right ah, here. Yes, we got These in some so uh, we got in some larger ones, but I mm -hmm. brought in the small ones for the children that are are going to preschool, three, four, five. Some of the backpacks they when they put them on them they go down to their knees. Mm -hmm. So these are some of the cute ones. Where's my little green one? Do you have him? Oh, right there. oh there he is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, green. it kinda looks like a little um, one-eyed octopus, wonderful, but, wonderful. Uh, but he's really cute. And so these are meant for the smaller children. We also have larger ones, and we have lunch boxes this mm -hmm. year, which is another way we're trying to keep our business going by helping thing, uh, people in the community meeting their needs for the smaller children. Wonderful. Well, hopefully everybody can check out Imagination Station, get their back to school supplies they need, and also get some fun creatures <laughs> along the way. Thank you, Donna, for Thank sharing you. all of this with us this morning. I'm going to take a quick break, but I'll be right back after these messages, so please stay with me.